You just look around you and you see the structural improvements, the infrastructural improvements that have taken place in this country, many of which would never have taken place without the benefit of structural and cohesion funding, whether it was in training, uh, upskilling our workers through the various uh, structural funds that came in, the cohesion funding. I think that was of major significance to Ireland, to the development of Ireland and to getting the economy into a competitive state uh, up to very recently. Uh, those funds were very important. Obviously, ourselves, Spain, Portugal and Greece were the main beneficiaries during the last phase of the major structural funding. Uh, that was extremely important. It has put our, if you like, our infrastructural base up to a reasonable European standard, which we would never have achieved without the funding coming from Brussels. Uh, obviously, the situation has changed now, but we have the base which to build our economic future on, which would not have been there. Uh, had we not gotten that structural and cohesion funding right throughout the 90s. You have to look at the European Union and our involvement in it over across a whole range of issues, from structural funding to foreign affairs, uh, through justice, and all these various aspects. I think you can't take any of them in isolation. But from the, if you like, the man in the streets point of view, the most obvious involvement of ourselves in Europe would have been the structural funding and what it did for the Irish economy.